Okay, so let's start. Hey guys, <laughs> I think I know everybody here, right? Um, but for the ones that don't know me, I'm Bruna. And I'm a UX designer here, along with Brody. And today, uh, the OTT is about prototypes in Figma and animations, mostly animations, because that's the part that I think that you guys probably have the more questions. But uh, you can ask whatever you want about this topic, all right? So prototypes and animations in Figma and how to deliver it. Uh, but first, just about the OTT, this is supposed to be just uh, a quick chat among us so, so we can share some knowledge or show some research or new stuff that we find out and we can spread knowledge, right? Uh, don't forget, please, to subscribe and give us a like in our YouTube channel at White Prompt. Uh, and so just to start, I want to show you guys a little thing about animations in Figma. So sometimes it might look like too hard to do some things like this. Oh, uh, how this just happened, right? It turns to an X. It, it's a really simple example. But just for you guys to understand, so Figma work with layers and work with objects and positioning. So in this case, I need to create four frames or four pages to make this animation work. So I have stage one, two, three, and four, right? And I put it on a circle for you to understand it. It's a loop of animation. And in this case, in all frames, we have the same object, but the difference is about positioning and uh, opacity and rotation. So in the first state, we have three lines, horizontal, all one apart from the other. The second state that in the intermediate state, uh, the animation just passed through it and it doesn't stop. Uh, the difference is the positioning of all lines are in the middle. The third step, the middle line is not visible. The opacity is zero. And the other ones are rotationally. They, they, I, I rotated it. So you can see in this example that when I trigger the animation by click, it will navigate through the second stage and we will smart animate. This is the biggest part here. Because in with this um, animation process, Figma will calculate the position, the rotation, the opacity, and it will do all the magic. So you can see one turns into the other. Of course, I, I slowed down this this animation so everybody could see what's happening. Okay, but how to apply that in real life? Uh, so here is one example of a project that we did, we are still developing, but this is a project where the, where the client really uh, engaged in the idea of adding animations to the prototype, to the project and everything else, right? So in, in this case, the, the main animation is about the plants, but uh, we, we introduce that through the app. So we will see that on the plant, we will see that on, on this card here that's supposed to be, so, so the, the app is about a, a mood tracker, a pill tracker, so people can, can track a medication they are taking. And the concept is if you are taking the medication, you're watering the plant and taking care of the plant at, at the same time, taking care of yourself because you, you do it every day as, uh, as well, you need to water a plant every day. So in this example, if you click here, it was supposed for the user to say, yes, I, I took my medication, I took my pill. 
you will answer yes for sure and then you will see the watering flowing through the plant and growing and marking the medication as checked. Uh, so there are several steps of an animation here. I don't want to get too in depth of it so it don't doesn't get boring. But basically I have an object that goes through behind and stimulates the water and another one that pops it appears uh, because let me show you in the components here. What happened here is that here. So in the first, the left state, you have this object here. You can see it's solid circle check. And in this state, it's still there, but it's so minimal that you can barely see. But through the smart animate, you can they it it calculates the growth of the circle, and then you have the animation here, right? Um, another nice thing about this prototype, uh, Figma also cal calculates if you want uh, the um horizontal scrolling when you have a frame that's smaller than the content like this this is just because the content is goes through the frame the frame is this size and the content is larger like this uh also another example of the rotation that i mentioned before is the arm of this girl that the idea here is to after the user completes it uh, the girl will stop thinking how she's feeling and she will lower her arm and say oh i know how i'm feeling and that's it so this all is made through smart animating figma okay nice mm -hmm. everything is fine we are we animated everything but how do I implement that in my in the code? How to transform that into a simple uh, prototype in Figma to something that I can really use in my daily life as in the case of a developer or someone that's implementing it. So recently uh, we, we discovered a plugin in Figma that does all this magic for you without, because before or we had two options we we would download the lottie yeah i think it's an app i believe that you can do the animation step by step and it's a really long process and usually we don't have that much time to spare right or we would do that in in after effects and you need to create a separate file animate everything and then export to the devs but now we have a new plugin called Animix. I think that's how we do it. We simply select the frames that we want to animate from this step to this step. The difference about those two is that the leaves are just bigger, but they are in the same order, in the same positioning. They are just scale and a bit rotation, but just the scale basically. So this, you run the plugin. Of course, uh, it's a free version, so it will ask for you if you want to erase older files. If you if you play if you pay for the plugin, it's a really cheap one. Uh, so I will remove existing projects. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Open project. Please don't get stuck. <laughs> so. 
come on, it was working yesterday. Let me run it again, sorry. Okay, so apply a smart animate, that's the thing you need to do here and it will calculate everything I was telling you before. Create transition and it will import the layers, calculate and do that. It's usually faster and usually doesn't take that much time. It's I don't know why it's taking that long. It probably, probably is just because of these layers, I guess, right? No, this is I a complex <laughs> illustration that has a lot of layers. So it's it not like the others that I that is like an hamburger menu with three, three simple stripes. Yeah, but usually it's faster. Probably that that I don't know, Newton. No, it's how do we say that? Murphy's law. <laughs> when you're oh, presenting yes. something, it just gets <laughs> yes yes totally. oh god please work let me try to to reload it maybe that's the please work i was so excited to show that and now it's not collaborating with me Come on. Man, I can't believe that. It won't run. <laughs> Let's but, wait for, for, for a bit. Yeah, it, it usually is very fast and it works so magically <laughs> mm -hmm. that I couldn't complain. So uh, what will happen here? It will open the, the pop-up of the plugin, right? And it will show the animation in, in layers like this, but in a timeline. So every leaf, every single layer of this will like this, every single layer will have a duration period. And uh, uh, um, a vector of row and it will play and after you do that uh, you just need to export it probably they have some problem in the server or something like that but can you try outside of the frames or or it works always even inside the frames of the screen oh. exactly let like, me like try, try some simpler one Come on. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. So, so <laughs> it was supposed to be that fast, but with the complex animation, right? So what he did here, he took every object and put in the transition, in this case, for just one second. We can expand that for two seconds, three or more. And it will apply a curve of, um, how do I say that? A curve of time passing, like, um, it's hard to put that on words, but it's easier to show. It's a relationship between movement and time. Yeah. So that's what it would do, but with the plant, right? And okay, let's, let's say everything is fine. We, we, we fix everything we wanted and in this in this case we don't want a five seconds we wanted two and a half seconds all we need to do here is to export of course you, you can export it as a as a as a, a video format but in this case you export it as dot lotty that app i was talking about before and when you export it you will get a JSON and that you will import in your in your file to to put in the in the project. 
So that's it. That's the magic happening. Um, so, sorry for the, the plugin doesn't work before. Uh, but... Do we want to try it last, one last time it, with the plant to see? Please, yeah. Let's, let's see if it will work. Uh, done. Yes, great transition. Yeah, it, it got stuck. Maybe what I, what I can try to do is put these in a new file and you, it won't need to think about everything else that's happening. Mm -hmm. Like I will detach the, detach the instances and try to see if it will work. No. Now it is, yes. Now it's working. Probably. Well, so so also in a, a, a when you are working with this, with that stuff, you would separate every animation in a separate file. So we won't need to process all the other things that are happening, right? But that's what I wanted to show. It will in this case it shrinks, but it would go the other way around and would grow the plant. And the only thing you need to do is export, export to Lottie, and it will generate a beautiful JSON. Nice. And that's it. That's something that we are actually doing right now, and we will need to create several of those animations with the plant. And we will use it in a project that will be launched very soon. <laughs> Any questions, yes. guys? Well, sorry. No. Any question? Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you all for being here and listening listening to me for twenty minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Runa. Thank you. It was really nice. Thanks.